Hello, today I'm going to review the results of uh, running the WWC LED spectrum on my Red Sea Reefer tank for one month. Hello and welcome back everybody to Amara Azul TV. Alright, my tank has been running three Radeon XR15s uh, for, uh, well, since I started essentially. And I've been very happy with the color and the growth that I've been getting on my corals. Uh, I typically run, well, I've always run the SBS AB Plus program, which is essentially like an 18.5K spectrum. Uh, I've had really good results with running that program. I've uh, tuned the PAR uh, uh, on my lights to be around uh, 80, sorry, uh, 250 to 350 pretty much on average across the tank. And I've just been happy running that program. And then I think maybe six weeks ago, I discovered that uh, Worldwide, Worldwide Corals, uh, WWC for short, runs their own kind of program. And it's a variant of the SBS AB Plus program. Uh, the way that it differs from AB Plus is the AB Plus program has this, uh, most of the time the, right, the lights are running at an 18.5 uh, Kelvin spectrum or the equivalent of it. And what the WWC does is that for half of that uh, plateau where the lights are supposed to be running 18.5K, what they do is they actually cut all of the white, the red, and the, the green lights, and they only have the the blue, L, the blue and the UV LEDs. So uh, about a month ago, I started switching from AB Plus into this uh, WWC program. I'm gonna leave a link here uh, to see how I set that up on, uh, on Mobius. So it's been a month since I started running the WWC program and I took pictures of all of my SPS corals before I did the change. So today we're gonna review uh, coral by coral. We're gonna have a look to actually see uh, if this uh, change from uh, AB plus to WWC spectrum had any effect on the uh, color and the growth of the corals. Uh, before I do start, uh, I wanna quickly go over the husbandry and the kind of the tank parameters, uh, just in case you're wondering. Uh, so uh, my uh, tank, I keep uh, nitrates at around uh, one to two parts per million, and I do actually dose potassium nitrate if uh, the levels fall below that. My phosphates are around 0.07 uh, parts per million, Alk is right now sitting at eight, calcium around 380, magnesium at 1350, and I dose uh, ESV uh, uh, two part to, to kind of maintain these levels. Uh, I do dose aminos about a mil every, uh, every uh, two days. Uh, I, I dose aminos because uh, I, I'm gonna put a link to a video here that I did a while back on amino acids uh, for, uh, uh, for SPS and essentially, uh, uh, a lot of SBS and especially Acropora are missing genes that synthesize the amino acid uh, histidine. Uh, so my, my reason for dosing aminos is to kind of, uh, you know, I, I, do, I do run the system a little bit hot in terms of light and nutrients and I, w I just want to make sure that uh, the corals are not stressed out and, and they have histidine available in, in the water column if, uh, if they need it. Uh, also, if you're wondering why my tank has no algae, uh, given the, uh, the detectable phosphates and nitrates, I'm gonna leave another link to that uh, latest, uh, uh, a recent video on grazers uh, in the reef tank. And essentially the conclusion of that video is that in natural reefs, algae is uh, controlled top down by uh, herbivores and not bottom up by nutrients. So, you know, so long as you have reasonable, mo you know, moderate nutrients in your tank, uh, nothing too crazy, your uh, herbivore population will be able to take care of that. All right, so we're gonna have a look at uh, the SPS picture by picture, and then we're gonna come back and kind of review the discussion and, and go over what changed and what didn't and, and what to do next. So we're gonna start with the uh, uh, blueberry wine acro, and all of these pictures are raw from uh, my iPhone, uh, so I didn't color correct them or anything. Sometimes the auto white balance kind of leads to some subtle changes uh, in color. Uh, but I think you'll kind of get a sense of, of the differences here. This is the Valida, uh, kind of no big differences. Uh, Cali Tort uh, with the AB plus and then with the World Wild Court, World <laughs> WWC Spectrum, no big changes there. Uh, Montipora, the Bubblegum Digitata. Uh, I did frag the squirrel a little bit and uh, but, you know, no, no, no big changes in color, I think. Uh, this is the Jason Fox Flame. I think it did get a little bit pinker, just a tad bit pinker. Uh, and uh, well, this is another frag of the uh, Fox Flame. 
And again, I, I think it did just get a tiny bit uh, pinker. Um, next up is the Hawkins uh, Ishinada, and no big change in the actual color. Uh, one pattern that you, I think you, sh you'll, you should pick up on now, uh, this is the uh, Jawbreaker uh, and Jaw Dropper, sorry. Uh, maybe also got a little bit pinker. Uh, Jolt, kind of no changes. Uh, no change in color. I, I think across the board, I, I did see more growth overall. So maybe not no big differences in color, but definitely some uh, a, a pop in, in growth rates. Uh, Major Laser, again, no, no big difference in color, but a, a little bit more expansion. Uh, that's my Roomba talking in the background. Uh, Rainbow Loom, uh, again, growth, but maybe no, no differences in color. Uh, Marvin the Martian, certainly a lot of growth, uh, but uh, no big difference in uh, color. This is my Electric Mayaji Tort. Yeah, I can't really like, uh, with these pictures, I, I, don't, I don't think you notice any big change in color. Uh, Orange Passion. Um, not No big changes here, I think. Pac-Man on the sand bed. Maybe got a little bit darker. It's uh, not, not, nothing too obvious. Uh, the pink Cadillac, I, I think that one I did see a little bit more pink on the tips. Maybe it's it's hard to see in, in the picture, but uh, uh, I, I think there's a, perhaps a subtle change. Uh, PC Rainbow, uh, lots of growth, it, perhaps not a big change in color. Uh, pink Lemonade, this thing I fragged and I kind of changed the position a little bit. I, I think overall it's pretty much the same in color. Uh, Rainbow, uh, sorry, uh, Pot of Gold, this is Refract Pot of Gold Millie. Again, no big changes in color, but uh, certainly uh, some uh, uh, changes in uh, growth. Uh, green Slimer, I feel, kind of looks about the same uh, before and after. I mean, the, the second picture is a little bit brighter, but I don't think the colors actually changed. Uh, shortcake, Strawberry Shortcake, uh, maybe a little bit more pink in, in the pink tips, but, I, you know, it's very subtle. Uh, TNT and Acropora, uh, I don't think I saw any changes in, in, that, in terms of uh, color, but certainly uh, it did go through a, a nice little uh, growth spurt. Uh, the WD uh, Walt Disney frag, uh, <laughs> it still looks pretty sad. Uh, no, no, no changes there. And uh, the World Wild uh, World WWC uh, little uh, red Ferrari, I think, got a little bit pinker. So uh, you could see, you know, the the changes are subtle. Where where I saw the changes was that I think the pink corals maybe got a tiny bit pinker. And one thing that is really hard to actually see or to, to capture uh, with a camera, but I did notice a little bit more, how to describe this? It's like a little green sheen that I saw on all of the corals. It's, it's, a, it's, it's hard to describe, but I guess maybe a little bit more green fluorescent protein with the WWC spectrum. And maybe that makes sense because they're getting hit by kind of more, well, are they really getting hit with more UV? Because uh, it's uh, we're not kind of taking away UV, we're just taking away the white. So I don't know, I just saw a little bit more sheen uh, in, in my corals uh, when when running the WWC uh, program. So what, where I did see a lot of changes is certainly the growth. And, and uh, I'm actually, I, I got intrigued by looking at these pictures because, you know, it, it's a little bit difficult to like say how, how quickly things are growing because, you know, as colonies get bigger, the perception of more growth is more obvious because there's more branches uh, to expand. Uh, so uh, I can't really answer whether the, I, I'm getting more growth with the uh, WWC spectrum, but I'm curious to actually do an additional experiment. So I was I was actually going to terminate this experiment now and go back to the AB plus program and see whether there's going to be any negative change to the colors. I'm, uh, now that I see that there was very little change in the colors, I'm, I'm doubtful that I'll actually see a big change. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two uh, green Slimer frags and I'm going to weigh them and I'm going to run them for uh, run the, the WWC program for another two more weeks. 
and I'm going to subtract the difference in the growth rate of these green slimer fags over a two-week period while I'm running the WWC program. That will give me kind of a rough estimate of how much these uh, frags grew as kind of grams per, per day. Then I'm going to switch back to the SBS EV Plus program and run that for another uh, six weeks uh, to kind of emulate the, the same time that I uh, ran the WWC program. And then at the end of that six week period, I'm going to take uh, pictures and actually four weeks into AB plus, I'm going to cut two more additional fra uh, frags of the slimer, weigh them, and that way I'll have a measurement of how fast the frags are growing with the AB plus and how fast the frags are going with the WWC. And I'll be able to answer whether the WWC program for some reason allows the coral to grow faster. All right, that's it. If, you, if you're curious about anything else that you want me to keep track of or, or any other kind of experiments with, with these light spectrums, uh, do let me know. I'll, I'll certainly consider it. Uh, again, if you haven't surprised, subscribed to the channel, uh, please do uh, subscribe and hit that like button. It, it does help a lot. And I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy your reef.